Make this the best year ever with Read and Write. Getting a confident start to the new school year is important for every student, especially those with reading and writing difficulties, learning disabilities, or English as a second language. Whether on a PC, Mac, iPad, or mobile device, there's a Read and Write product to suit your needs. The Read and Write family of products can help your struggling reader or writer be more confident and more successful than ever. Read and Write Gold is text-to-speech software that provides tools for reading, writing, studying, and research, while students work within the common applications they use every day. Read and Write for Google provides support tools for Google Docs, PDFs and EPUBs in Chrome on PCs, Macs, and Chromebooks to make Google Apps for Education accessible. And I Read Write makes reading easier and ensures accurate writing as students use their iPad for school, work, or leisure. Give students the support they need wherever and whenever with Read and Write. Try it today! To learn more about how Read and Write can help your struggling students, visit texthelp.com or call 1 888 248-0652. Again, that number is 1-888-248-0652. If you have students with IEPs, be sure to take advantage of the Read and Write Gold IEP Special. Hello and welcome to the AT Tips Cast, where we explore free, or nearly free, tools and strategies that can be used to provide more options to all learners. I'm your host, Chris Bougay. This is episode 140, recorded on December 29th, 2014. Extra, extra, read all about it. Wife gives husband best Christmas present ever. Hey everyone, I hope you're having a safe holiday season. If you exchange presents, I hope you got everything you were hoping for. I know I did. My wife, Melissa, wrote and recorded an episode of the AT Tips cast. Melissa is a team teacher in the high school chemistry, conceptual physics, and English class, while also teaching her own reading class. She describes one of the tools she uses with the different students she supports, especially in that reading class. I hope you enjoy hearing about AT Tip 454, Newzella, or News ELA, as much as I did. It's me, Mel, Chris's wife. I'm taking over for a little bit, and here are the two reasons. I was thinking of what to get Chris for Christmas, and I came up with a few things thanks to thinkgeek.com. But then, after the Star Wars measuring cups and walking dead blanket were ordered, I needed a little bit more. I thought, what is a better gift for my handsome, busy, techie husband than time? Nothing. It's the gift that keeps on giving. And the second reason is I have an excellent free resource to share that I use weekly in my classes. You see, last year I went back to work full-time. I interviewed and was offered a job as a high school special education teacher and a team teacher. This year, I have an eclectic team teaching schedule. Let's see. Hmm. I teach English 11, conceptual physics, chemistry, but my most favorite class that I teach is a reading strategies workshop. There are multiple different reading levels to work with in there. It can be challenging, but in a good way. I see lots of improvement in many different areas, such as fluency, comprehension, and vocabulary. It's a cool time for technology with all the available resources. And believe me, Chris is one of my main resources. But the winner for me, the one that I've seen the biggest reaction and success with, is called NewsELA.com. Have you heard of it? My students love it. It's a nonfiction literacy and current events website for students. It covers topics such as war and peace, science, kids, money, law, health, arts, and sports. In each of these sections on the site, there are multiple current articles to choose from. New ZLA is nonfiction with an edge. From astrology to zoology, there's something for every student's taste in every teacher's subject area. There are a few ways to approach working with New ZLA. They allow you to read up to four different articles without having to sign up. But good news, if you're interested in signing up, it is quick, easy, and free. When you sign up as a teacher, you're able to set up classes. Then they give you a code that you can share with your students. Once your students sign up with an email, they can put in your class code. 
That way, you can track their progress in which articles they read, quiz scores, and reading levels they attempted. But what about all the different reading levels? I hear ya. Another bonus of News ELA is that for each article, there's multiple reading levels available to the students. They can be found along the side of the article. Each article has five different options to find the grade level and word count. So everyone can read the same article in your class at the level that's most accessible and comfortable for them. I know it makes my students feel less intimidated because no one can tell which level they picked to read it at. How do I use this, you ask? Great question. Well, let's see. Vocabulary practice, making WH questions to share with a friend, summarizing practice, creating a timeline, sequence of events, and even further research on the topic. Cool thing is about the site is it allows you to see who reads the articles you assigned in your classroom, who passed the quiz, and who took notes, all on a single screen. It also gives you an opportunity to give the students choice. And you know how much Chris loves choice. It's fun to see what your students will choose on their own. It really helped me learn a lot about them this year. So what are you waiting for? Check it out. And then I'd love to hear how you used it. You can email me at nightlightstories at gmail.com. As News ELA says, read closely, think critically, be worldly. Oh, and one more thing. Have you heard Chris's techie parody of The Nightmare Before Christmas? What's this? What's this? You haven't heard him sing? Well, jump right over to AT Tips Cast. It's episode 139, The Nightmare Before Technology. He does an incredible job. And I am not just saying that because I'm his wife. Well, maybe I am. No, I'm not. It's a great job. I promise you'll enjoy it. I hope your holidays are merry and bright, and your Christmas break is full of relaxation and tons of fun. Happy 2015, everyone. Thanks for listening. I'd like to thank my lovely wife for taking the time to create this episode, not just for me, but for you. I hope you found her descriptions of News ELA useful, and I hope you can use that resource with your students. Along the same lines... DogoNews.com is another website where you can find news-related articles for students. DogoNews.com also has a book and movie review section where students can post their own reviews. Resources are grouped by topic and grade level. Let's call Dogo News AT Tip 455. Also, if you need a quick newspaper headline generator, check out AT Tip 456, bit.ly newspaper generator. That's bit.ly slash newspaper generator. This nifty little tool allows anyone to generate an image of a newspaper clipping, featuring one's own title for the paper, date of the article, headline, and text in the article. I've got an example of one I created over at attipscast.com. Just as a little side note here, we use that tool to create an image in the Practical and Fun Guide to Assistive Technology in Public Schools. Like us, you can use it to give directions to students or to highlight a point. Students can then use that generator to make images of newspaper articles in multimedia presentations, movies, or to explain what they know about a historical event. All right, that's about all the time we have for the news this episode. Remember that I'll be in Orlando at the end of January at the annual Assistive Technology Industry Association Conference. You can check out all of the presentations I'm involved in, including a pre-conference session with Beth Poss on digital data collection practices on Wednesday, January 28th by going over to attipscast.com. Until next time, may all your strategies be supportive, may all your interventions be inclusive, and may all your holiday presents be as useful as mine.